Engineer Sam has a steady hand on the throttle as he brings the morning goods train up the long grade past the Pumpkin Valley Church. Sam's first stop will be at the mill to make a delivery of chocolate bars. There are the workmen and their truck waiting to transfer the load of chocolate. Over the bridge, Engineer Sam brings the big engine to a gentle stop just at the right spot. Quickly now, unload the car. Let's not keep Engineer Sam waiting. While waiting, Sam saw his friends Sally and Ben. Ooh, all that chocolate smells good. Well, come up and sit on the tender and watch them unload it. Look at all the chocolate bars. Yes, it reminds me of my good friend Chocolate Chip, the chipmunk. Would you like to hear about him? Oh yes, please. One of my good friends in Oak Lane is Chester Chipmunk. Chester owns a candy store where he makes and sells candy. He didn't always own a candy store. Chester used to work as a clerk in a hardware store and sold hardware to earn a living. But he always enjoyed making candy. His fancy candies were so popular with his friends that they nicknamed him Chocolate Chip the Chipmunk. For a long time, making candy was just a hobby. Chocolate Chip would spend one or two evenings each week making candy for his friends. But then, animals who had tasted his delicious candies were coming and asking him to make candy for them. Chocolate Chip found himself making candy and selling it to animals he didn't even know. When Chocolate Chip found himself busy every evening and weekend making candy to sell, he decided to leave his job at the hardware store and to start a candy shop. A building was rented and a nice sign painted. Chester had attractive display cases installed and bought a big brass trimmed cash register to sit on the end of the sales counter. He set up his kitchen and was soon selling candy. Chocolate Chip Shop became very popular. He sold lots of treats at Halloween and the Christmas season was a big sales time. Many customers came to buy candy to serve at their holiday parties and to give as gifts. In February, Chocolate Chip really enjoyed preparing all the special candies for Valentine's Day. And on Mother's Day, he sold a lot of his extra fancy candies that had I Love You Mom written on the top. Chocolate Chip's store has become so successful, he has even printed a catalog and sells candy by mail order to customers who live a long way away. Chocolate Chip has a very good business. He is successful because he has a good product to sell and the residents of Oak Lane like to buy his candy. Engineer Sam, we're all loaded. You can go now. Time to hop off now. Well, time to go. Thank you for telling us about Chocolate Chip. Maybe you could bring us one of his candy catalogs. Yes, I will. See you soon.